The Jets Player Spotlight brought to you by Larceny Bourbon and Marvin Windows and Doors. Sheldon Richardson joins us now on the show. Sheldon, that was a tour de force by you yesterday. How happy were you with your specific performance? Uh, you know, I was, I was able to make the plays I was able to make because of my teammates doing their jobs. Uh, you know, a little extra effort here and there for me, man. Uh, it's just a good team win. Offense kept us off the field. There's a lot of plays. There's a lot of things that go on us winning, man. It's not just me. It's a great win. And you do it without Mo Wilkerson. So nobody wants to play any length of time without him. But was it a conscious effort to try to, to compensate for his loss? Or is this a show of the kind of depth this defense can play with? Uh, most definitely we have depth. Uh, of course, we got a surplus of defense line that can play from the, from the zero to the nine. So, I mean, you really can't. And say it was because he was gone. I mean, I, I went back down to three technique, so I went back to a more natural position. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that, was, that played a big part in there for my production for us. They played in the behind the line of scrimmage. But other than that, really, uh, guys just made plays. Our back end made plays. Dave was back. You know, we lost a few guys, too. So, you know, so it, it all played, it played a part in that. You know, it's been talked about the inconsistency of the defense coming from you having to play a couple of different positions. Do you feel that that has maybe been a little bit of a problem with this defense early is trying to find exactly what role there is for you at times? Uh, not necessarily. I know my role. And uh, and really, I was, it's not inconsistency from from me, per se. And, you know, guys give, you know, we give a big play here and there. Uh, but, you know, we had a 100-yard rush against Arizona, but I can sit there and say that, you know, that, that when you play outside linebacker at my size, you don't make as many plays behind a lot of scrimmage unless you're getting sacks. And that's the only thing I can say I was lacking in. Uh, but other than that, really, now nah, setting the edge, letting Leo work, Mac work, Mo getting his plays too. So, I mean, that's a, it's a trash position. Like, that's what we call it. It's the dirty work. It's not all about the glitch and glamour. You know, you gotta got to do, do a little more for the team. So the team can throw out. Well, we're talking with Sheldon Richardson here on the Michael K. Show. Eight tackles, six uh, unassisted tackles yesterday in the Jets' victory. Let's talk about specifics in football, real, real inside football talk, because you have been really unselfish. You really have, because you, you, as you said, you're a Pro Bowl player when you're playing a three technique on the line, but then you've been playing the outside linebacker because you guys have so many repetitive sort of talents where you can't fit them all on the line. How tough has that been for you to, to play a position where you're not as comfortable and because of your size, you even said, you can't do the things you want to do? Uh, it's all right. I mean, I'm not really hanging my head down. I bought it on myself really for, you know, uh, a couple years ago, all field issues I was having and going through. Right. But other than that, really, you know what I'm saying? So I can't really blame nobody but myself for that. But I'm not going to hang my head down. I enjoy playing outside linebacker. It's fun for a guy from my and my stature, athleticism to stand up and, and do what the little guys do, as we call it. So, you know, it's, it's fun. I, I don't mind dropping in the coverage. I hold my own in my own in the coverage situations, too. So I'm not doing a bad job at it. We just need to pull out wins. If we was winning, it would be a different thing. All right, now let's talk football specific, Sheldon. Explain to our listeners what it means to three technique and why you're comfortable doing that. What exactly is that? Closer to the ball, you know, runs uh, you can get. You can play things inside out versus outside in because we play things outside in. And you got guys like Leonard Williams, uh, Stevie McClendon coming in, uh, making plays inside mode. You're following everything back into those guys. You don't really get a chance to get your stats up and stuff like that and unless you're down the field chasing plays and not do that too. So, you know, that's pretty much it really. And when you put me closer to the ball, I'm a little more effective because I can chase down the running back to a sideline. Um, I can cut off the edge. I can beat inside. Go. I'm a little faster than same strength as most guards and faster than most guards. So, you know, it, it's a little more easier work, I would say. Mm-hmm. Now, you brought, you brought up giving up. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm not listening. <laughs> now, you said about big plays. And sometimes, for me, looking on the outside, you know, there are communication issues or there's execution issues. What do you think has been the biggest problem in, in not being able to defend those big plays? Is it a lack of communication or just a lack of execution? More, more sometimes it's lack of execution, and it, I would say more lack of communication, really. Uh, some guys, it'd be loud in some certain stadiums, and or if it is, and guys are getting the one call and guys are doing something else, and, and sometimes guys are just get beat. Like, it's flat out that simple, and, and that's okay because that's, I mean, everybody's human, so you're not going to beat everybody. And 
you're not going to make every play. So it, it happens, and they just got to know how to bounce back and make plays that hurt them just like they just hurt us. So that, that's pretty much it. And, yes, they showed that, they, you know, they had a big play, and then we ended up coming back and getting two interceptions, and it hurt them bad. So put our offensive positions to score. Uh, we got to play better complimentary football. You know, things of that nature that make great football teams great. Sheldon, how big was that win? I mean, how much did this team need a victory of any kind? Yeah, that's all. We just need to win. Uh, keep this Sheldon going. Keep the momentum going. And going to Cleveland and preparing for Cleveland. Yeah, and then Cleveland, you know, winless on the season, a chance to win a couple of games in a row. Certainly the offense has had its struggles and, of course, the quarterback change and all that. Is that something as a defense that you think about or concern yourself with? Uh, not really because, you know, there's, there's a quarterback change they can still, in our instance, you know, Geno got hurt uh, and Fitz came back in. So, you know, you can prepare for one guy, but you got to prepare for the system, really. That's what we do. Uh, we prefer for the system they're trying to execute and how they're attacking us. Uh, that's what we do with sideline adjustments and things of that nature. So it's not really a uh, one-sided thing on that. Yeah, but so we prefer for everybody and every anything that they have that's a threat that that damage us that uh, uh, get big plays on us.